guys, welcome to another Wig Wednesdays. And today's wig is actually going to be the one that's on my head. I actually had another wig on today that I fell in love with along with this one. But, you know, I'm doing a review on this one first because I got this one first and it's been sitting around for a while. So, anytime that I get an email for one of these wig.com places. I simply just like to go see what their new wigs are. And I know I get I I get a lot of emails saying, why you didn't do this review? This one is new. You know, let me explain about Wig Wednesdays. Wig Wednesdays are really about wigs and hair that look good on me that I would recommend for you guys. It's a lot of wigs that just don't won't won't don't won't won't do. They won't look right on me. So I can't just jump on every single wig that comes out because a lot of time it can look, and I've noticed this in my head, in my head, uh, when the wig looks nice on the model of the package, it doesn't really, it's not executed right on the reviewer. So a lot of these new wigs, I did not like the way they looked. It looked nice on a model, but outside, maybe because they just took it out of the box. I'm not quite sure, but they, I just was not interested in those. It's by Free Trust Equal, and this is the deep invisible part, and her name is Tansy, and I got her SOH 27 Gold 30. Now, I'm still sticking to my root of 2730, but this is beyond 2730. This right here, this gold is everything. And this is actually the type I've always wanted to see how highlights look with just a little bit more blonde than 27. A lot of times they'll be like 30, 27, and they shoot off to freaking white 613. 613 does not look well on my complexion at all. So I always, that's why I always stick to. 27 and 30 and a lot of times when you see 27 30 mixed together it just looks like one big ass 27 wig so i am loving loving this color color is gorgeous now if you're looking at this and you're saying hmm it looks a little shorter than the looks a little shorter than this huh yeah well what i did was i'm going to show you a picture now this piece right here and also, when you get these wigs, you can customize however you want to. And that's is simply what I do to my wigs. If I don't like something, I'm going to change it. I'm going to cut it out. I'm going to tweeze it out. I'm going to fix it, brush it. Whatever the case may be, I'm going to fix it. So this piece right here, and I'm also going to show you a, a little clip over here. All right, so this piece right here, what I don't like about certain wigs, it's like they'll have this dead track in the back, and it's just hanging there. It has no movement. It's just dead. So all this can be bouncy and beautiful. And guess what? This piece of hair, like let's pretend this is it. It was just hanging there. It had. It looked like it had no purpose. It did not give life to it. That's why I was a little iffy about it. And it was really long. It looked like the cowardly lion type thing. It just, it, it just didn't mingle or mesh together correctly for me. So that's why I just pretty much layered it down, which is right here this is the piece right here so right here it doesn't even look like it's dead because it actually blends in with the hair it did not blend in with the hair at all but oh my gosh ladies take this color in yes so this is what 27 gold 30 looks like because i've been thinking about what does that gold look like what, what are they talking about gold like how bright will it be but this gold is gorgeous now it's funny how you like to throw things out into the universe so I like to throw things out, and it always has something to do with a wig. I just love, love, love the universe of wigs. I was thinking to myself, I was looking at Latavia, the former member of Destiny Child, and she actually had the exact same hair color in her actual natural hair or uh, or uh, hair piece. I'm not sure what she had in her hair, but this was the exact same color and the same style that she had. And I'm oh here are the pictures. And when I saw the mannequin picture of the color I didn't know it was going to be this bright of the gold but I'm happy it was because it is gorgeous today is May no I'm lying today is April something it is April 29th and if you're in New York today is beautiful so this is definitely a beautiful spring color to bring out the spring this is also giving you Tamar Braxton old Beyonce when she was doing that gold blonde but now she's just all over blonde. But yes, so this is for people who are stepping up 
from just 27 and 30. Try this 27, 30 gold. Like, it's gorgeous. Okay, so what we have here. What we have here is a regular part, which is right here. Well, I'm going to be tweezed. I tweezed a little bit. You see this little piece right here? How it's like going diagonal. So I'm starting this new thing with my wigs that I'm starting to tweeze in zigzags because it looks more natural. My mom was looking at one of the wigs I was wearing and she said, you know, it looks, I like it, but that part just looks so fake. It's just straight. So that's what I've been doing lately, just trying to, but I wanted to do this review for you, so I didn't finish tweezing it. So as you can see how that part goes right here in indent it this way. So I'm just going to, you know, pluck a little bit more on each side so it can look like a little nice natural zigzag and then put it in my concealer. Okay, uh, so yes, yeah, so I did pick out that long piece. So this is what she looks like so you guys can get a better view of her. Okay. And she has other colors. Here's the other colors. And I am extremely happy, happy, ex extremely happy that I got the 27 gold 30. I love it. Also, another thing about this wig that I did not like about it. Now, right here, uh, I don't even have that much uh, concealer onto it. What they have with this wig is different from certain other wigs that we have which is the lace usually it's just lace but this one actually has a skin top on it now it's a pro and con for a wig the pro of it is that you don't have to put a lot of concealer even though it's like a grayish tone but it's not bad to the point where you have to put concealer you can go out but if you want it more realistic of course you're still going to put concealer on it but in the downfall which is the con it's like a material just listen to it it just sounds like paper and you really have to push it in so all right so i'm going to show you what she looks like and this is all finger comb i didn't put a paddle brush to it at all if you've watched my previous videos you know that i like to finger comb a lot of my wigs first especially if I want to keep them as long as I do, and I do. A lot of my wigs stay up to two years because I switch them up or I don't really brush them out as much as others do. You know, some people have an idea of a wig that they want and they brush it out, but I just like really keeping a finger comb. If it looks good finger comb, then I, I, that's how I have. Now, when I first got this, the curls are a lot tighter. So they're not, they don't look like this. They're a lot more tighter. Like I said, this is all finger combed out. All finger combed out, just like this, okay? Uh, so if I would have kept it, it would have been like maybe 22 inches. But right now, uh, with the piece that I cut off, it is about 18 to 20 inches, okay? So just take it in. I'm going to let y'all take it in. You finished? No? Okay. Okay. All right, so let me show you the back then. But I just love the blend. You have the 30, you have the 27, you have the gold right here. And this is just me putting it on my head, okay? It has three combs, one in the top, two in the top, and one. Now, the way that the combs are set up, is the way I like them set up right here at the temple. That's what I love. And then they have the adjustable strap and the comb in the back. Also, they have the molding tabs that are on the side so it can be like a nice fit to the sides of your head so it won't be like gappy. You know how, you, how the, the wigs kind of flap up? You won't get no flap up with this, baby. No, so we, no, sorry. Now, the way that the. I'm trying to figure out how. Can I describe the feel of this hair? It does feel like synthetic, you know, it feels like blown out hair. And as you can see, I am pulling some hair. So it does shed. It's, she's a shedder. She's a shedder. Most of, of the wigs that we love so much, they do shed a lot, right? Yeah, I guess so. But, uh, but yeah, she's a shedder only if you're messing with her. If you're just, you know, fluffing her out, she's not shedding. It's not falling into your soup. It's not falling into... His mouth, you know, not that hair, of course. <laughs> yes, this is the hair that I love. This is my spring hair. I'm actually going to wear it outside. I can't wait. It's just gorgeous. I wore this hair. What did I wear? I wore this hair to brunch. I went to brunch 
with a couple of um, some friends on Sunday and I wore it out and that was my first time and I think you have to wear this hair out once and the second time it'll be more adjusted to your lifestyle because you know anytime you wear like a, a wig for the first time it kind of looks awkward because you don't know how to sit you don't know how to put your head you don't know how to tilt it you don't know how to put on your head quite well but once the uh once the cap gets really accustomed to your head and gets accustomed to how you know you move a lot of times the wigs fit like butter like butter on your head so i just put it on top of my head i'm not even using the combs uh this cap is it's not too small, but it will be small if you don't break correctly underneath it. Hold up. It's about to go down. Cat vibes. Wanted to show you how gorgeous. That's why I have great lighting because the sun is finally out and it's beautiful outside and I just love today's weather. So, yes. Yeah, so, this is Free Tress Tansy Boo Boo and this is her cut. Okay, and when you cut this wig, and I'm going to give you one more uh, one more advice before I leave here. Uh, once you cut a certain type of layer, cut it in a layer, in a diagonal way, as if you're cutting layers. Because if you cut it sh across, it's just going to look unnatural, and you're not going to like it. And guess what? You can't do anything about it. And then you have to cut shorter pieces. It's crazy. So what you do is you pull it out, and you do a diagonal cut which is making layers. So that's why it looks all blended together, especially you, you can't even tell where that track is because I blended it in really well. So yes, thank you ladies for staying tuned for another Wig Wednesdays and I will be back with another one soon. All right, ladies, peace.